My name is Jason Krieger with Stratostar and uh, we empower educators to start high altitude balloon programs and today we're going to talk about uh, lift in your weather balloon. So here's a little system that I've set up. It's actually a safety line for your balloon and it helps you calculate how much lift you have. This is just a digital fishing scale connected to our helium tank. That's not going anywhere. and. Uh, when it's not, it's a little bit windy today, but this can give you a really accurate uh, amount of lift that you have. And when you calculate lift, you're going to want to have at least 1.5 times your payload weight. So if you have a 10 pound payload, you need to have at least 15 pounds of lift um, in order to you know, maintain a safe launch and get everything off the ground and up until burst. One of the biggest mistakes people make when launching high altitude weather balloons is not having enough lift and uh, if you don't have enough lift you're not going to burst um, for a long time meaning you're going to be in the jet stream and the upper atmospheric winds longer so that your balloon will fly uh, many many miles away from your launch site but if you have the correct amount of lift you know at least 1.5 times your payload weight or more um, you'll be able to have a nice launch it'll take off the ground clear everything and uh, you'll go up and burst and you should be able to have an easy recovery at that point. Um, another way you can do this, uh, some people will take water or sand in, in a bucket and when it's a little bit more windy like this and fill it up to the weight that they want to have for lift and once that bucket um, lifts off the ground pretty consistently you know that you've achieved um, uh, the lift that you desire. Uh, kind of a rough calculation to um, find out how much helium you need. For about every one cubic foot of helium, it equals about one ounce uh, of lift. But you need to incorporate the weight of the balloon, everything, and all the payloads. That'll give you a rough idea of how much helium you need. But I always recommend having more helium than you need, just in case there's a leak in your valve or something happens. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, good luck with all your launches.